guys, planting directly into my compost bin. Is it working? Let's find out. Hey everybody, it's Kimberly. Welcome back to Home with Kimberly. If you are new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, I'll wait. So, I am coming to you live from the side of my house where I have placed my composting bins. Now, I partially planted these into the ground and <laughs> my husband was so angry, my bad. But I just saw a video where like, because I have holes in the sides of my containers and like if you plant them in the ground next to each other, I did put earthworms in this one or redworms. So they should be able to kind of transfer, you know, back and forth. And of course the other earthworms hopefully coming up from the ground will get into the bottom of my uh, pots here because they do have holes in the bottom. So this is my zucchini that I planted directly into my compost bin. And look how awesome they're doing. I am so excited. These started to pop up three days after I planted these. And this is what's basically known as cold composting. Um, I think traditionally you let it, you set up your compost, you put all your brown materials, your garden scraps, all that kind of stuff, and cover it, and then you let it get good and hot. You know, you can add your worms if you want, and it'll start to really break down and create that black gold, they call it, the really rich soil. But cold composting is where you just set up your compost like I did, and then the same, very same day, like I'm not waiting for it to go through the breakdown process. I went ahead and planted in here. And so, as I said, my zucchini plants are coming up immediately. And I think they should be able to keep feeding off as that breaks down in my soil. They're gonna keep feeding off of that. Now, five zucchini plants I don't think are going to fit in here. So I am going to transplant some of these um, today. Maybe one in here and maybe a couple over here and I will take that lid back. Um, and hopefully that will do okay because I know typically you plant zucchinis in bigger pots but I'm gonna give it a go and see how it does in my smaller pots. But I am so super excited, look at them. Look at these after three days. So now I'm gonna take you up on my back porch where I also planted some seeds directly into some pots that I had that I just, I threw my composting materials in those pots and planted those seeds directly in the pots. I did this, I don't know, five, six days ago at the most. So let's go take a look at that and see how those are doing. Okay, you guys, I'm here on my back porch. This is one of the containers that I planted uh, the seeds directly into um, that I, you know, put my compost down in. And here again, look at this. This came up after three to four days again. These are radishes. These are my carrots. And I believe over here, I've got some little onions popping up. And then up here, this is my lettuce. This is just after three days time. I just threw these seeds down in here. I put a little, uh, just a little leftover potting soil that I had left over on top of all my compost materials and then I just threw my seeds down in. We've been getting a lot of rain too. They've been getting a lot of water, which I think has been good for them. But look at this. Look at how this stuff is all popping right up. I mean, I'm just amazed by it that it's coming up so quickly. It's actually, these have popped up more quickly than the seeds that I planted in my light grow box, which are just now starting to pop and I'll show you those in a second. Um, but it's just weird planting these. Typically when I do my seed grow light box, um, my seeds do really well in there. And like, it seems like before they have come up much quicker than seeds that I planted outside. But I am going to attribute this to the fact that I have all this composting material down in here. And I, I don't know, we'll see as time goes. I do need to thin out these radishes and I will have to thin out the carrots. We'll see as time goes how all my stuff continues to do if they really pop up and become good, strong, healthy plants. Um, you know, see if, if the composting in place is really doing its job. So I'm just so excited. I wanted to do this quick follow-up video just to show you 
that so far so good. Um, just composting in place, planting directly into that compost really seems to be working and I'm super excited about it. So I've got some other seeds, like I said, in my light grow box and I'm gonna put a link up above for if you wanna see how I set up my seed grow light box and I'll also put up a link on how to set up your own quick and easy compost. And let's go inside and take a look inside my seed grow light box at those plants. Okay, you guys, so we have some basil that is popping up. Those are my green beans, the taller ones. And then it looks like I've got some cucumber, cantaloupe, um, some cilantro. So my seeds are starting to pop in here now. Um, it took about five or six days for the first ones to start poking through, which like I said, kind of surprised me that they took a little longer than my seeds outside. So you guys, I am just super stoked about this. Um, as you saw, you know, the plants coming up in my Seed Girl light box. I mean, everything's starting to pop up. Now I'm getting in a position where I need to find more containers to put this stuff in. I obviously have to transplant the seeds out of my grow box and I need to transplant some of those uh, zucchinis. So um, we'll see how it goes, but I am so stoked that that stuff is coming up so quickly right in those compost bins that I created. I mean, the stuff is just immediately popping up. So I'm going to keep documenting this process. I want to see how the plants continue to do, especially as they get bigger, start requiring more nutrients and all that good stuff. So I will keep you guys apprised, let you know how they continue to do. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you want to see more like this, please leave me a comment below. Tell me if you are doing composting, if you've ever planted directly in your compost. Um, what you're doing for your gardening. I'm, I love gardening. Obviously, obviously, you'll see probably several videos about gardening, but I would love to know the kind of stuff you guys are doing. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.